Now here is a test problem for you. I'll explain you how to solve it and leave the calculations for you to do. It's an application of derivatives. Car A is 40 kilometers east of car B and begins moving west at 40 kilometers per hour. At the same time, car B begins to move north at 70 kilometers per hour. What is the closest distance in kilometers the car will be from each other and at what time in hours will that distance occur? So that is the question. Now in such questions, it's good practice first to draw it, right? So I'm actually explaining you the solution and not really giving you complete solution in this case, right? Now let's try to understand the situation. What we have here is at an instance car A is 40 kilometers east of car B. So this is the point let us say at origin we have car B and let us say this is the point where we have car A. Now the question says that car A is 40 kilometers east of car B and that's why I took it on this side. So this is east for us and that is north for us. Distance between A and B is 40. So that is our total distance between A and B. So 40 is this distance. Now it says Car A is 40 kilometers east of car B and begins moving west at 40 kilometers per hour. So it starts to move west and the speed is 40 kilometers per hour. At the same time, car B begins to move north at 70 kilometers per hour. So let's use another color for this. It's moving north and the speed is 70 kilometers per hour. What is the closest distance in kilometers the car will be from each other and at what time t in hours. That is what we need to find. So let us assume that the cars will be closest at time t. Now if they are closest at time t, how much distance will car A travel? So car A, let us say it travels from here, it can travel 40 t distance, right? So it will distance traveled by the car A will be, let us say this point, so how much is this distance? Since time is t, distance will be 40 times t, right? So it is 40 t. So that is 40 t. How about car B? Car B will travel 70 t, right? So it will travel up to here, let us see. So let's say at time t, car B reaches here. So this distance will be 70 t. And distance between these two cars is going to be how much? So it is going to be this distance, diagonal distance between these two points. Correct. We are interested in finding this diagonal distance between the cars at any instance of time t. And we need to find when is it shortest. So that is the equation. Now, Initially, A and B were 40 kilometers away. In time t, A traveled 40 t distance. So how much is left? Left is 40 minus 40 t. So that becomes kind of base of this right triangle, correct? We do have a right triangle here, right? So this is a right triangle since directions are east and north. The other car which moves north has traveled 70 t. Now from here, how is D related? That's what we need. So the distance between the two cars, we can say, car A and car B at time T in hours will be how much? Let it be D, right? So that would be d equals to square root of, we'll use Pythagorean theorem, sum of squares of these sides, 70 square, 70 t square, 
plus this distance and that is 40 minus 40 t. So this is the distance which is the distance between two cars at any instance of time. The second part of this question is what is the closest distance in kilometers the cars will be from each other. To find the closest distance we should differentiate with this distance with respect to time right so when we differentiate d dt of d is equal to what differentiate the whole thing right so when you differentiate the whole thing what will you get so i like you to do it in details right kind of this is like everything in the square root right so you'll get half the whole thing comes in the denominator that is this thing to the power of half minus one so it be minus half so you get this square root thing in the denominator which is 70 t whole square plus 40 minus 40 t whole square and in the numerator you have derivative of inside function correct so derivative of this will be 70 times 2 times t so let me write down in steps 2 times 70 t times derivative of this apply the chain rule times 70 right plus here it is again square so it will be 2 times 40 minus 40 t times derivative of inside function which is minus 40 so that becomes the derivative so d d d t is equals to all this for maximum or minimum what should you do well this should be 0 right equate it to 0 for maximum or minimum right so we need maximum or minimum now when will this be zero when the numerator is zero right so you can simplify the numerator and solve for t so 2 and 2 will cancel out even otherwise the factor and then denominator doesn't really play the role because when you cross multiply it becomes zero so you're basically left with the numerator here which you need to equate to 0 and find t. So that part I like you to do, right? So basically what you're left with is something like this. 70 times 70 t and minus 40 will make this negative here. So minus, I've already cancelled 2 out, right? Let me just do it for you. Okay. So we have minus 40. You could have taken 40 also outside, so it becomes anyway 40t equals to 0. So you have to solve this equation, find t, correct? That t will give you maximum or minimum, right? You have to test for it. How can you test for it? One way is you find the second derivative, right? And then see if the second derivative is positive or negative. In case the second derivative is positive, at that given value of t in that case it is a minimum right the other way is you can test let us say you find time t is some value here right so you have to find what that time is let's say the time t is here you have to test before and after now we are looking for the minimum distance so you should be expecting before get a negative point and afterwards positive this is d dash we're talking about so derivative at that t should be decreasing and then increasing to give you a minimum value that could be another way of doing it one more way could be that you could use boundary conditions right now what is the boundary condition here now if t is zero what is the distance so basically you could put boundary conditions with t is 0 since we have time here so we could say time is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to it will take about an hour to reach this place right let's assume that to be the condition as 1 so you could use this boundary condition also for time to figure out and then you find distances at t equals to 0 and t equals to 1 you know at t equals to 0 the distance is 40 and after an hour car A will reach this point and B will reach 70 kilometers away it will be 70 so this point has to be less than 40 
So that is what you are expecting for this particular time. That's kind of an overview of solving such questions, right? I hope this helps you to solve similar questions. So I like you to do all the calculations, adopt the method which you feel comfortable with and check your answer. Okay, thank you and all the best.